Hey everybody, this is Jerry. It's Saturday. <gasps> Jerry on a Saturday. Shock and awe. This is Ask a Pansexual. Um, welcome. This week's topic is your family and their reaction to the queer community. How do they feel about it? How does that make you feel? Um, anyway, uh, honestly, it's, it's kind of kind of split, not so much down the middle, it's more of a 60-40 type thing. They're fairly accepting, uh, most of the family is anyway, um, but there are still some aspects of the family, some members that are just like, mmm, queers, oof, which is kind of disheartening, but uh, then again, at the same time, they are part of an older generation, and after a certain point, you know, there's only so much social change that they're going to accept. Some older members of the family are very accepting and they really couldn't care less where you come from as long as you're a good person and you treat others with respect and all that. Some members are not like that. Uh, a good example would be my grandfather on my mother's side. Um, when my mom was growing up, when she was a little girl, he was very liberal, he was very empathetic and he was very accepting of everyone. He didn't care where you came from as long as you were a good person, you treated others with respect and all that. That really influenced my mom uh, and gave her a great sense of compassion for others and all that when she was growing up. And to this day, she's very, uh, she's a very compassionate person. She cares about the well-being of others and all that, and that's wonderful, and obviously that influenced me. Um, but my grandfather in recent years has become sort of like ultra conservative uh, to the point where on Facebook you know for a 70 something year old guy he's fairly technologically savvy on Facebook people were kind of uh, limiting the posts that they could see from him because the stuff that he was saying was just so toxic and and it got to the point where even my dad who's you know my parents have been divorced for like 23 years but even my dad who has this like the utmost respect for the man you know, he, he went up to me and he was like, you know, Jeremy, what's been going on with your grandfather? Is, is he okay? Is it like, because he's been saying all these things. Does anybody know why he's acting like this? And I couldn't, I couldn't even answer him. I have no idea. Because I've always seen my grandfather as this very compassionate guy. You know, how I grew up with him, you know, being very nice and, and warm and loving. That's how I always remembered him because that's how he always was but now not so much and he's always he's never said anything uh in front of me but the fact that i know that he thinks these things and that he's, he says these things on facebook and you know he's even said some fairly racist stuff uh to my cousin eric like or in front of my cousin eric which was really surprising you know, and, and it, unfortunately, sometimes even even uh, people of color can have some racist tendencies, which really angers me, and it makes me want to, like, just, I don't know, man, it, it, this, it's this whole thing, and I, I really, I don't get it, but anyway, um, for the most part, being a very uh, Christian family, like my family tends to be, I myself am not Christian, but uh, that's that's a whole different story that I'm not going to go into. Uh, so anyway, I'm not Christian, but my, most of my family is. They're fairly uh, accepting, they're fairly, uh, fairly liberal, and I grew up in, in, in the atmosphere where you know, I was always taught you want to treat others how you treat, uh, how you want them to treat you. You always look out for people if they need help, if they need assistance. It's okay to ask for help, you know, and it's okay to, to help others in need. And it's a good thing that, that you're doing. It's not, oh, ugh, I have to help these people. It's, no, these people need help. I should help them because it's the right thing to do. That's how I grew up. That influenced my uh, my politics, influenced 
how I treat my friends and my family and it influenced the whole of my being is what I'm saying but again there are some aspects of the family that don't feel that same way so I do have to keep uh, I, I do have to be mindful of what I say who I say it in front of and it's it's disheartening it's sad it sucks quite simply it sucks because I just want to be able to say whatever I want in front of whomever I want, but I can't. I have to watch what I say sometimes. So that's just one of those little things in life that you kind of have to get used to because some people just aren't going to change their ways. So for the most part, okay, but some not so much. Anyway, uh, that's going to about do it. My name is Jeremy. If you need anything, uh, if you need to talk to someone, if you need advice or just a, a place to vent, uh, my ask box is open. That's jerry520.tumblr.com. So is the uh, the ask box for Ask Pansexual. That's askpansexual.tumblr.com. I love you. You're wonderful. I love your hair. Those shoes are fantastic on you. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.